The Naga chili is super hot on the Scoville scale. I think it's like over a million. Oh, that's so like kind of that's... equivalent to ghost pepper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you okay? <laughs> so okay. give me a look right now. <laughs> Let's go. This is really spicy. So I'm looking at this one? Yeah. Hey guys, this episode is a special one because we're in my home state. If you didn't know, I'm a Jersey girl at heart. We're in the heart of Jersey City, India Square, also known as Little India. And it's a beautiful neighborhood, lots of colors, smells, spices, and we're exploring all things South Asian spice. When it comes to South Asian spice, there is a lot of ground to cover. Today's food call is just the very tip of the iceberg. So today I'm meeting up with my friend, Chef Sola El Whaley. We're gonna eat one of her favorite foods, dosas, at the Dosa House, right over there, actually. Then Sola and I will meet up with her friend, food writer Priya Krishna, to go to Karai Kitchen, featuring home-style Bangladeshi dishes. Super excited for it, because it's my first time trying it. But before I meet up with them, I'm gonna get my palate a little wet, start off with a little snack, and we're gonna go try some Indian street food, honey puri. Let's go. Some Pani Puri. This is something that I'm pretty familiar with. Uh, a good friend of mine loves to make this and she always like pops it in everyone's mouth, which is really fun. I'm very excited because I haven't had it for a while. Here we go. Look, it's so cute in here. Because this is a traditional Indian street food snack, I think they kind of made it feel like that indoors, which is really fun. Hello, how are you? Potato, potato chickpeas. Potato or chickpeas, okay. Let's try the potato. Spicy, yeah. It's spicy? It's spicy. Okay, uh, and what's the different uh, puri? Uh, mint, jaljira, mint. Okay, just, okay, just like that, all right. I think the trick is that you have to eat it in one bite as fast as you can so that it doesn't break. But this, this is huge. <laughs> One more. That was spicy. Less spicy. Which one is the spiciest? Ginger garlic spicy. Because that mint one was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty spicy. There's different panis, which is spice water. Can I try the um, the garlic? All right, okay. I, I am a garlic girl as well. And garlic and chilies is like match made in heaven for me, so. Mmm, I like the garlic. I really like the, the garlic one is like super yummy. Actually, it's pretty hot. My mouth is starting to water. Thank you so much. Hey, Sola in the flesh. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm so excited to eat some dosa. I know, that's like your favorite thing ever. It is one of, one yeah. of my favorite foods. One of your favorite foods. Yeah. Yes, I There's wrote. There's too many. You can't, it's like your children, you can't pick one. There you go, after you. Oh, thank you. So what's special about a dosa exactly? It's a fermented batter? Yeah, so it's um, rice and lentil, uh -huh. blended and fermented with a little bit of fenugreek, and then it gets like a sourdough kind of tang. Okay. And okay. you can adjust how like crispy or soft it uh -huh. is by playing with the ratio of rice to lentil. What makes it crispy? Is it the rice? It's the rice. It's the rice, okay. So, so the lentils make it more... Pliable. Uh, okay. What are we ordering? What's the spiciest one? The spiciest. Spicy, spicy and garam podi. Let's do the karam podi onion. Karam podi onion. Onion masala dosa. And then uh, paper masala dosa. One paper masala. Uh -huh. And then we need the drink. Let's yeah. do lusty, yeah. 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 All right, yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Okay, how about your dosa eating skills, though? Dosa Maybe. eating skills? Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. eat. Yeah. <laughs> dosa is not something my mom made at home. Okay. We'd always go out for it, because it is more Indian and we're Bangladeshi. Okay. Um, but it was one of my, like, favorite foods. So whenever we had to go buy Indian clothes, right. which was something I hated. <laughs> so itchy. Uh-huh. So to bribe me to put up with it, we'd have a dosa first. So that's your memory tied with dosa? Bribery. <laughs> Bribery. <laughs> oh my god. See, isn't that exciting for a child? Oh, that is very exciting Thank for you. a child. Thank you. How do they make, how do they have a griddle this thing? It's the whole damn thing, right? That's insane. Like, we just have to do this. 
You gotta get okay. in it while it's hot. Okay, mm -hmm. show me how it's done. You just okay. stare. <gasps> so crispy. Oh. Are you and happy? You can smell the tang. You can smell the fermented mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. sourdough vibes. And then right. just rip and dip. This is coconut. Mm -hmm. This is the tomato. The fermented notes of like the sour is like very addicting. It makes you want to keep going back for more. And that mm -hmm. texture is awesome. I like to break open the middle yes. when it's stuffed. Okay. So you can access the oh. stuffing. Mm -hmm. I like to uh -huh. then take from the end and grab some of my stuffing. Okay. This is Sola's way of eating and the then, dosa. And then dip. Okay. So it is like a very traditional indigenous food mm -hmm. to South India, but now you see it throughout South Asia. Okay. And, um, nowadays, what a dosa is, is like pretty specific. It's always rice and lentils that are blended and fermented together. Mm -hmm. But the traditional one, it was any combo of grain and pulse. People get crazy these days. People get crazy, like what? I like to make pizza with it. You like to make pizza with it? Yeah, pizza dosa. Dosa pizza. Like if you stuff it with cheese and Yeah, yeah, do the marinara. Oh my god. Oh, this one's a spicy one. The heat has come for us. Oh my god, it smells so good. I love onion. So this one is the spicy one. Whoa, that was really spicy, whatever I ate right yeah, now. Yeah, it looks like there's green chilies mm -hmm. and green onion and cumin in the batter. And it's like all kind of mm -hmm. got caramelized. And we still have that potato filling in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I'm really into it. And this is so fun to eat. No wonder you are you were like loving this as a kid. I mean, you say that your heat tolerance is bad, but like you're fine. I was really scared because <laughs> this is the channel that does hot ones. Yeah. So I, like, I didn't know how bad this was gonna get. You're a heat eater. Oh my goodness, did we order three? I guess so. All right. Which one is this? Is it a different Oh, filling? this one's gunpowder. Oh. I love this. Actually, this is my favorite dosa. Okay, this is the favorite one. This you the sure? Favorite one. Yes. Yeah, so this, you said that for every single thing that maybe came out. I just like them all. <laughs> you, you put the dosa batter out on uh -huh. the griddle. It's only cooked on one side. For the batter, it's like fully powder. cooked. You sprinkle this stuff on. That's called gunpowder spice. What is this gunpowder spice? It's called like, gunpowder because it's so freaking hot. Got it. But I thought you don't like spicy. I love this. There's actually a recipe <laughs> for it in my book. Buy it today. <laughs> <laughs> Buy Stella's book. <laughs> Find the gunpowder recipe. It's a ground up mixture of chilies, uh, nuts, coconut. Lentils. Oh, it. It's like a dry chutney. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes folks will mix it with mustard oil and uh -huh. dunk things into it to like even level up that heat. Okay. Even more. Yeah. And then I love it in dosa. So it's sprinkled on top. Huh. It's like a mixture of salty, sweet, uh -huh. spicy, and a lot of umami. Okay. You can taste the roasted peanut mm. in there. Yeah. It's a totally different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. And there is heat. But the heat in a different way than the chilies. Mm -hmm. It's like the dried spice, and I taste the coconut like very strongly. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that is delicious. I mean, it's it's pretty spicy. Oh, I just got it in my nose. This one is like the dried chili heat mm -hmm. that I feel like hits your nose more. Mm -hmm. And then the green chili heat is more like in the back of your throat. Yeah, da definitely going down. Yeah, very, very different spices, but spice level-wise is the same. My mouth is... Yeah, you, know, you know, pretty tingly right now. It's burning. I'm fine. You're fine. She's wow. like, just saying. For some people, this will definitely be like pretty spicy. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's about balance. Like you yeah. don't eat a meal of all spicy things. You get like a bite from the onion and yeah. a bite from the mustard, but it's mellowed out by the potato. Like yeah, it's, it's balanced. It's balanced. All right, so uh, this was amazing. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for showing me the world of dosa. Next stop, we're gonna meet up with. Priya, who is a, your good friend as well. And we're gonna go eat at Karai Kitchen. Yeah. Let's go for a walk, digest yeah. this a bit. I know, and I'll eat more. I'll take this to go, and I'll <laughs> eat it soggy later. Ready for the next round? Oh, yes, oh, I peppers. am. Yeah. Hi, Priya. Hi, how is Dosa? It was very good. Yeah. How hi. are you? I'm just gonna give oh, you a group. Hi. Hi. hi, hi, hi. I'm so excited for this. Have you ever had Bangladeshi food? I have not. So why why Karaya Kitchen? It is one of the city's only Bangladeshi restaurants. I feel like you can attest it's really hard yeah. to find Bangladeshi food in restaurants, even though it's yeah. <laughs> Bangladeshi's run a lot of Indian restaurants. Yes, it's very uh -huh. strange. They all yeah. run the restaurants, but they uh -huh. only make chicken tikka masala. Yeah. Right. Not here. And but here is yeah. Bangladeshi people making Bangladeshi food, which, which is, is awesome. a rarity. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hello! Hello! We're so happy that you're here! 
here. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Andy. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Here. Thank you. Hi. We're Thanks so excited. Us. Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Hey, thanks for having us. We are so excited to feed you. We hope you're hungry. So what do we have on the menu today? Well, traditionally, Bangladeshi food, we like to eat in courses. Okay. And we've yeah. got some spicy dishes too. Yeah. So, so many courses. <laughs> many courses. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious, how does it differ from other South Asian cuisine? That's really difficult to answer because the food of Bangladesh is hyper-regional. So yeah. my mom is from Dhaka, the capital, and the other part is from Bogra, which is a little bit more north. Generally, there are some similarities, some things that you'll always see. So Bangladesh is known as the land of rivers. So of course, you know, seafood is fish is a big part of the diet. It's a Muslim country, so you won't see pork, but you will see beef. And then certain things, you know, we love like our mustard oil <laughs> and mustard seeds. Yeah. So you kind of just have to eat it. Like you have to yeah. try it and you, you have, just to, have it. to try it. And you, can, you can uh, feel the difference. The taste is different. Um, there's silverware, but of course we eat with our hands. Anything goes here, whatever you're comfortable with. We can go yes, here. Yes, yeah, sure. Absolutely. I feel like it doesn't taste right uh -huh. if you don't eat with your hands. Really? Okay, I, you I love that. You have to mix it all together. We actually don't adjust spice levels on anything. If it's meant to be spicy, it's going to be spicy. If it's right. meant to be mild, it's going to be mild. Um, so the portas, there's four. These are the mashes. That's the begun porta, the eggplant mash. The alu partha, the potato mash. That's a mishtikumra partha, which I guess is like a sweet pumpkin. And that's a shutki partha, it's fermented fish. Mm. The naga chili is something that you'll see in Bangladeshi cuisine, and it's super hot on the Scoville scale. I think it's like over a million. Oh, that's so like kind of equivalent to <laughs> ghost pepper? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, You're you okay? Yeah. <laughs> so look, give me a look right now. <laughs> but not, again, like, not all parthas are that spicy. After you do the parthas, of course, we have seafood, mustard hill over there. Hilsa is the national fish of Bangladesh. We do also have chingri do piazza, which is a shrimp do piazza right over there. Okay. There's veggies down there. <laughs> so that's the egg with um, chili, tomato, onion. Uh, we have the coconut milk chicken. Um, that's one of my favorites. Yummy. We have beef. Um, it's like a kosha, right? Like yeah. a style. It's like kosha. a dryer Kosha style. or buna. All right, enjoy. You guys Thank enjoy. You. Thank enjoy. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> enjoy. Yeah, this looks amazing. Okay, you gotta get okay. the rice first. You guys gotta walk me it's through this. It's the, the center of the okay. plate. My parents uh -huh. said it's bad luck to have less than two scoops of rice. Okay, thank okay. I really don't right. want bad luck, so. Put the portas around. Uh -huh. Okay. So you kind of like uh -huh. mix the rice in with the port that you want to start uh -huh. with. And okay. you make something called a lokma, which is like a mouthful. It's almost like you're making a tiny little rice ball. The key to eating with your hands is you, you don't get it on your fingers. You stay on your fingertips and then use your thumb to push it in. Mm. Okay, all right. Oh. <laughs> all right. I'm really mm. bad at eating with my hands, but... Really mm. smoky. Really smoky. Mm -hmm. Really good. Okay, I'm gonna go okay. for it. Mm. 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 Potato. It's not that bad. Manageable, yeah. I feel like it's a sign of good cooking when it has the spice, but the spice, the heat does not like take over the entire dish and you can taste the other yeah. elements. It's potato first and then you get chili mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. after. And oh, it's it slowly builds. building. It builds a little bit. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm surprised you're okay it's, with it. It's yeah. building a bit. Yeah. So explain to me the difference between spicy and spices. I feel like spices are flavors, all different mm -hmm. kinds, not necessarily hot. You know, right. it could be mm -hmm. aromatic or nutty or Citrusy. Oh, they all complement each other. Mm -hmm. It's like each of the, even each of the chilies has a specific flavor. My mom is really particular when she cooks about what kind of heat she's adding. Is she adding right. Kashmiri uh -huh. red chili powder? Is she adding dried red chilies? Is she adding hurry merch or fresh yeah. green chilies, which are a little fruitier? Mm -hmm. Every type sort of gives you a little bit of a different flavor and complements the spices in a different way. Okay, these are the vegetables. There's whole green chilies. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is this has quite a lot of heat. The veggies, that's but it's like maybe, maybe you just bit into a green chili. Okay, okay, maybe <laughs> I, maybe that's what it is. We need to wash our hands really thoroughly before removing our contact lenses. <laughs> Made that mistake before. My nose is already starting to run. Mm. But I could use more spice. We should try the fish. You need a little bit rice. I know, I know. Thank you. <laughs> Mustard oil yeah. has this like. It's like this astringent, like sinus clearing, sinus yes. clearing yeah, yes. that I love. It's so, fish and mustard oil to me is like a match made in heaven. It was so good. The sauce. The mustard oil. Yeah. It's so, I just, I love mustard oil. Oh my God. When you cook it, it sort of 
tempers that burning effect, but you still get the sinus clearing like wasabi. a little bit. Yeah, wasabi-esque. Since there's so much fat in the fish, is that like what it, it mellows it all yeah, out? Yeah, totally. And it makes it just really savory because the mm -hmm. fish is so savory. This is so good. The sauce wow. is like everything though. It's so, 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 so good. So this is the green chili. Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind is of there spicy, like a... yeah. I mean, it has sort of the same intensity as a Thai chili. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing with the green chilies is, my mom would do different things with it, like depending on how much heat you want versus right. flavor. Like sometimes like here, they're whole and the stem is removed, so then you just get the aroma. Yeah, And then right. if she wants to level up the heat, she'll slit it in half. Mm -hmm. And then you get a little bit the of seed. heat. Yeah. And then mostly still flavor. And then when you really want to just like kill somebody, you chop it up. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like balances all like the mustard, like the warming spices, mm -hmm. and it actually makes my mouth water more. Really and it's just good. like making like me salivate. This and is sort of what chilies yeah. are supposed to do. Like, mm -hmm. yes, they're spicy, but they also complement. They also exactly. add something. Ooh, it's not that hot. Maybe I'm yeah. okay. We're gonna have that turmeric glow. What are you guys up to? What's what's the next project? Oh, please go buy my book. <laughs> I have a baby to feed now. Both of you have books. Sola has an amazing book called Start Here. Sola is one of the best cooks that I know. Wow. I'm very excited to buy her book. Are we doing this like plugging each other? Wait, is your children's book out? My children's book is out um, next April, but I have a You're book. You're writing a children's book? I love that. Yes, it's sort so of a sweet. little sister to my cookbook, Indianish, mm -hmm. which is about Indian food, mm -hmm. which I think they have at this restaurant. We have it! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my we God, did you show it? We did an event with Priya before really? the pandemic, so we keep this copy of uh, Indianish oh, here. Know? Look at all oh, these what did I write beautiful you? recipes. <laughs> We've got it. I right want to sign book. <laughs> yeah. I feel I feel so blessed. Thank you so much for bringing me here. Like I am so eye open, and I feel like so sad that I missed out on this beautiful cuisine all these years of my life until now. Like. What the hell? I've been missing out. <laughs> this is so delicious. Yeah. Should we just cheers with our dirty hands? Cheers! cheers. cheers. <laughs> We're definitely gonna keep eating, but there's no stopping. I spy a sugarcane juice, so I have to try it because I love sugarcane juice. Hello! Do you put it on ice? Yeah, some, uh, yeah. some customer asked me to ice. Is it okay? Yeah, that's good, okay. that's good. Here we go, let's try it. Mmm. How's so it? So good? good. Very, very good. Thank you. It's delicious. It's like, it's it's sugary, but like not so sweet. And it has, actually has like a kind of like a grassy, herbaceous note to it. Mm. You can't really get this in the city. Like, where do you get fresh squeezed sugarcane juice? Yeah, in a smoke shop, all types of goodies. Hey guys, it's Esther from Heat Eaters. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and for more episodes, click here.